Hi, my name is Juan Gomez from Epic Games. Today I'm going to be covering how to do interactive lighting on a LED wall. So this technique could be really useful for in camera VFX production where you have, you know, creative director DP looking at the wall on set and they want to make changes to the lighting that is on the wall. And most of the time they want to see the changes through the camera. So this is exactly how I'm going to describe how to approach this. What we see currently in front of the camera is a super simple scene that I set up so we can quickly explain a couple of these concepts. It's a GPU light bake that I did previously, but let's say the creator is going to come and ask me, you know what, we're going to move the, the direction of the light, we want to make it a little bit warm, and we're going to do some changes, but they want to see it through camera. So the first thing that that it most likely you want to do is just, yeah, let me rotate the, the direction of light. But the moment I rotate it, as you can see in the editor and on the wall, I'm, I still have the previous light bake. So it can be really confusing, like, okay, which one is the new one? It's definitely not uh, the desirable effect that you want to do. So I want to turn on ray tracing, ray tracing, real-time ray tracing, just to give a preview of what it could look like if we do a GPU light bake. Uh, real-time ray tracing, especially real-time GI, can be really expensive for the GPU. So most likely it's not gonna give you good performance on LED wall. But you just light bake it, it's not gonna have much of a cost or no cost. So how are we gonna get rid of the the previous light bake. So the way we do this is by going in and we go into world settings and then in the world setting, settings under light mass settings, we check for no pre-compute lighting. What this is gonna do is gonna clear the previous light bake. So we're gonna go in, build option, build light only. So this is gonna get rid of the light bake in my editor box but I still have it in the LED wall. So what we need to do, we need to push these changes through multi-user to the LED wall. And the way we do that is by saving, you can click save all, saving all the levels that currently have light bake information. Most likely is the build data, what we need to save. So as, as you can see, I have all these levels that they do have geometry and they do have light bake information. And I'm just going to go in and hit save. What is this doing? It's just going to send in, sending this information to the wall. So as you can see now on the wall, we have the, exactly what I see in the editor. There's a couple of things that I want to double check. I want to, it almost looks like on the wall I have SSGI on. So let me take a look. SSGI, see if this is enabled. It is not enabled. So, which is good. I don't want SSGI. I want to be more accurate. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna check in my post-process volume, I wanna check what kind of ray tracing I have enabled. So in this, in this case, I have ray tracing global animation disabled. So now the minute I'm gonna enable this, I can use final gather, as you can see, it give me a Close approximation. Brute force is definitely a much accurate GI, and then because solution, because you can actually increase the number of bounces, and as you increase more bounces, the more accurate it gets. So right now, I'm going to increase it to two bounces. I see the results on the wall similar to what I see here in editor, so that's good. Now, when I go in and change my my directional light, I can get some sort of preview of what it's going to look like. So in this case, let's make it a bit warm. And as you can see, I'm getting a preview of how this room is going to get the global illumination through the light rays, the sun rays that are coming through that, those two gaps. So this is good. This is good because then at least your DPs are, are going to get a little sense of how much field light you're going to get 
through through the global dimension. Because remember, what we're gonna do at the end, we're gonna do a light bake. But keep in mind, ray tracing and GPU light bake use completely two different approaches, two different algorithms. GPU light bake uses path tracer. Ray tracing, it has its own technique just to go to make it faster. Uh, so there's never gonna be an apples to apples comparison, but this at least give you a, a good preview. Another thing that is really nice when you're doing real time ray tracing preview is that I can go in and 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 we can talk, for example, like the, the DP can say, you know what? I want this to be a clear day. So you can actually adjust, as you can see, I can adjust the, the source angle and I can see now a much, much crisper light coming through the, the, the holes. Or if say, you know what, it's supposed to be overcast. Let's see how that goes. So you can actually start softening your, your shadows start softening the shadows. So then you can start getting the sense of like, yeah, it's a bit overcast, not such, not such a clear little day. This is stuff that you cannot preview without ray tracing. So, okay, so let's say we are happy with this. And so the next step, it will be just do a light bake. So in this case, I'm gonna go and go into my GPU light bake. And I'm gonna, these are, decent settings for now just gonna get something quick and i'm gonna turn off real-time preview so it does it goes much faster and then i'm gonna click build lighting so right now it's building in the background it's gonna all this processing is happening in my editor box my local machine this process is not yet on the wall so after this is done i'm gonna do the same the same technique that I did before, which is disable, uh, save the, the build data, and that's gonna get sent to the wall. And one thing that I probably forgot was the world settings, uncheck this. Okay, so now I see the light bake finish. Um, it looks nice, kind of close to what I wanted, the next thing you want to do is go in and once again do a save all because as, obviously as you can see now on the wall it is not exact same result but we go in here and before i do that sorry i'm going to turn off ray tracing so it doesn't add doesn't doesn't double up the look so disable it perfect so now in my editor box this is completely the results of the GPU light bake. And now I'm gonna save this on the wall. So save them, save selected. So now it's saved locally. It's now sending the information to the wall. And now we can see the results in the wall. Right now the, the mid maps are getting loaded and now we'll see it. So as you can see, I was able just to first do a preview using real-time GI that gave me a little bit of sense of what it's gonna look like. And now when everybody's happy, then I light bake, I'm gonna push it to the wall. Thank you so much.